Okay. So till uh, uh, last in the last class we discussed about the Fourier series. This class, let us see the series that we are talking about. Let me just keep that also. Let me just go back uh, to where we finished. So we discussed about these uh, periodic functions. Uh, you don't have to learn all these. It's enough if you learn about sine and cosine. So this is how a uh, given uh, Fourier series can be expressed as a series of sines and cosines. And generally, the expression is given by this expression. Uh, this is the expression which consists of A0, An and Bn. To determine A0 and An, uh, this is nothing but the average value and it comes out to be like this. A0 is given by this and An is given by this, Bn is given by this. So it's enough if you know this and if you just take this square wave example 1 and try to understand how you are getting all, uh, you know, odd multiples is what you are getting. Okay, then, uh, the e, then this is the full wave rectifier. This also if you remember, that's enough. You don't have to go into the details. Triangular wave, you just go through this same procedure. If you can understand, you just do this. Okay. So what we are basically interested in is, uh, till now what we discussed was about the Fourier series analysis of sinusoidal waveforms. But most of the waveforms in nature are not sinusoidal in nature, they are complex. I told you more music, orchestra and so on will have multiple frequencies. In such cases, it needs to be, you know, uh, represented by what is known as a complex relation. Why is this coming? Because of the presence that, okay. So because, uh, okay. therefore you need to express it in terms of complex notation. And you know the complex notation from this either formula, cos of theta is e power j theta plus e power minus j theta by 2, I think you know this. Similarly, sin theta is given by this expression. So. Uh, so the nth component can also be written like this, if it is just 1, if n is equal to 1, we write it as cos theta, if n takes integral multiples, we write this as e power j n theta plus e power minus j n theta and sine of n theta is given by this, so and it becomes a n cos n theta plus b n sin n theta, the real part is given by this, the imaginary part is given by this. So, this is a n minus this thing, c f minus n is like this. So, you can write it in short, instead of writing sin omega t cos omega t, we write it as e power j n theta, e power minus j n theta and this represents the real part and this represents the imaginary part. So, when you are doing, when you are expressing, uh, using the Fourier series, is there, are you finding any disturbance in my voice or are you clear? Are you able to clearly follow? This one of it is clear. Okay, thank you. So, okay. so then the real part is given by cause you all know from mathematics and the imaginary part is given by psi. So the coefficients are once again evaluated uh, by using this CL was minus. So integral of this, integral of cos n theta sin n theta this is what you get. And C of minus n will be given by this. So C of minus n is a complex conjugate of Cl and this is what you are getting. See A plus Jb, what is its complex conjugate? A minus Jb. And A minus Jb's complex conjugate will be A plus Jb. It's enough if you understand that it is represented like this. So same expressions, same waveform, uh, you will be calculating these things. So it's enough if you know this much. You don't need to know more than this. Then, let us now see. Till now, we were discussing about the Fourier uh, series, how to represent. Now, you cannot always have sinusoidal components. 
A complex web consists of many different components. So in such a case, you need to have a transformation from one domain to the other domain. So Fourier transform basically is used, basically this is used, you know, to Okay, just make a note that the Fourier transform is used, you know, to maybe if I open it with uh, one second. So, therefore, since the real life applications, just make a note of this, since the real life applications cannot be always, cannot be always represented by sinusoidal variations. It will have complex waveforms which are used to represent. So in such cases what you need is, uh, for such cases what you need is a conversion, just to make it out, a conversion between time and frequency. For example, let us say you are measuring BP or you are seeing ECG, ECG is an electrocardiograph, ok, they, you will have these kind of patterns. For a normal person it is normal like this, but for some people who has heartbeat is more or less accordingly it will be different. So these are all analog in nature, the measurement of BP, the heartbeat and any other vital now even lung functioning, all these are analog in nature. So to be able to make an estimate. See, when you say when there is, when the ECG is bad, we say ECG is not good. That means that person or the patient is having some trouble in the heart rate. Some trouble, as a student of physics, we cannot say some trouble. We should be able to quantify it. We should be able to measure it. To be able to measure it, we are making use of a graph plotter or you can also see it on our CR book. That also we can show you. So this is how you can vary the amplitude, you can vary the time, you can vary the frequency, you can, you can even measure the, the frequency of repetition of the heart rate and so on. So there is, and uh, for a person, uh, for a doctor, uh, to be able to read, see this is done by ECG, is done by a technician, uh, CT scan or uh, you have this, uh, what is it, uh, MRI. MRI is all done by a technician. And uh, the doctor whom you consult may not be available at the place where this ECG is taken. So how will you carry that information if you can come online and see it, it's good. But how many times can the doctor visit the patient, all the patients, all the time. So there should be a record and he has to carry that record either using now it's all WhatsApp. The, the people are sending the reports by WhatsApp or by mails or uh, take a print out or uh, you carry your phone and show it. It depends on the doctor. Some doctors don't rely on this. Some doctors want it to be as a print out. So whichever way you are doing, you are converting it into a measurable quantity. So for measurement, you need to transform between the two domains known as time and the frequency. 
frequency. So the Fourier series of a signal is a function. This is frequency, this is time. So if f is a function of a real variable, the function value is expressed like this. So when I, suppose this is in frequency. This is frequency. 